Hello my darling, today I am going to read you The Trouble with Dragons. Looks like a very naughty dragon is hiding inside this book. So it says here, for children learning to manage their dragon. Are you trying to manage your dragon? Are you? Are you? I can see you. Are you trying to manage your dragon? <laughs> well this should be a good book. Okay, it says here, once there was a boy and one day he woke to find a dragon in his bed. He didn't know where the dragon came from, how it got there or why it was following him everywhere. All he knew was it was causing all sorts of trouble. The Trouble with Dragons is a story about fitting in falling out and finding that some things aren't always quite as troublesome as they first seem. So let's get started. And we're starting on this page here and he's found the dragon in his bed. And it says, it began one Tuesday morning when Ollie woke to an unusual sight, a dragon in his bed. He said his name was red. Now, the trouble with dragons is they don't really like getting up, which can be a problem if there's one sitting on top of you when you have to go to school. On this particular morning, this was the odd and rather troublesome situation in which Ollie found himself. Do you see the, the dragon in his bed? Oh dear, look. <laughs> and there's his football on the floor there. Oh dear, shall we see what happens next? Oh, blimey, look. <laughs> Can you see all of these naughty things that the dragon is getting up to? <laughs> it says here, Ollie later found that it wasn't just getting up that dragons didn't like. Red didn't like showers either, nor brushing his teeth. And he wasn't the best at getting dressed. <laughs> oh dear. Look, can you see Red the dragon? He doesn't like putting his t-shirt on. He can't fit the t-shirt over his head. And he doesn't like brushing his teeth. He looks like he's trying to brush his ears instead. And look at that one. He's put an umbrella over his head so he doesn't have to have a shower. <laughs> oh dear, Ollie must have been in despair. One thing Red did like about mornings, though, was toast. So when Ollie went downstairs for breakfast, Red thought it would be a good idea to make some. Of all the good ideas had by dragons, this was not one of them. As you can see, it looks like he's burned the toast. Oh dear, he's burned it. Oh dear, look at Ollie's mum and dad. They're wondering what's going on. I think that Red has tried to create the toast using the flames from his nose by the looks of it look there's flames still coming out of his nose whoops all the fuss had made ollie late for school maybe if i had a sports car i could ride to school in that he thought or a big balloon or a boat the trouble was of course that ollie couldn't drive nor fly a balloon and he couldn't find his cars. So instead, he had to walk. There's Ollie looking for how he could get about in a boat or a car. And there he is, look, trying to see, would he use a balloon, would he use a car, or would he use a boat? But he didn't have any of those things to hand. Which meant Red was able to follow him. Uh-oh, this could be trouble. There's Red following Ollie to school. And there's Ollie trying to get to school with his car. And Red's following him. Oh dear, I don't think his teachers are going to like that very much, do you? At school, Ollie was finding it hard to concentrate because Red was distracting him. The trouble was, Red didn't find books very exciting. He much preferred juggling to reading them. But this made Ollie's teacher very cross. Oh dear. You see, Red's trying to 
distract Ollie by juggling and balancing the books on his nose. And what about over here where you can see that he, look, he's, oh, <laughs> Red's got hold of the cupboard with all of his books in and he's pulling all of his books out. Naughty Red, oh dear. Ollie was having trouble playing with friends too. Red was always showing up to spoil their games. Oh dear, his friend doesn't look very happy, does he? Doesn't look very happy. And there's Red stealing the ball, spoiling their games. Oh dear, naughty dragon. And when Ollie's class was painting, Red thought it would be fun to join in. But he was so excited, he ended up spilling paint everywhere. Ollie got in so much trouble that his teacher called his dad to take him home. Oh dear. You see, his teacher doesn't look very happy at all, does he? Oh, poor Ollie. And poor Red. Red's just doing his job as a dragon. But he's getting Ollie in lots of trouble. Ollie was very upset about getting in so much trouble. And it was all Red's fault. But what Ollie didn't know was that Red didn't mean to cause him trouble. He just found it hard to do the things that other children do because he was a dragon. Oh, look, poor Red, he's crying. Poor Red's oh, very upset. He's very upset. Ollie's put him on the house. He won't let him in. And Red's very upset because he didn't mean to upset Ollie. He just wanted to be his friend. All of a sudden, Ollie saw his friend Eva at her window. What's wrong, Oliver, she asked. Ollie told her all about the trouble he was having with his dragon. He thought Eva would be surprised about Red, but she wasn't. In fact, Eva had a bit of a surprise for him. You see, there's Eva at her window and she's got a surprise. Shall we see what the surprise is? Oh, wow, she's got blue. She's got her own dragon called blue. Oh, lovely. Blue looks like a lovely dragon, doesn't he? And he's got a lovely heart. A lovely heart on his chest. That night, Ollie and Eva stayed up past bedtime talking about their dragons. Eva explained how dragons could be good friends. If you train them, that is. So Ollie decided that's what he would do. He was glad he told Eva about his dragon. He thanked her very much before falling asleep. Can you see, look, there's red and blue learning and playing together. And there's his friend Eva and there's Ollie. And they're talking way past their bedtime while their dragons are playing and becoming friends on the roof. The next day, Ollie and Red got up very early. With lots of help, Red learned how to behave at breakfast and why it's good to pay attention in class and how playing games should be fun for everyone. Until finally, even though Red didn't always get it right, Ollie thought, oh look, he's playing with his dragon, he's teaching Red to be good. Oh, lovely cuddles. Lovely cuddles. Ollie thought to himself, maybe dragons don't have to be troublesome after all. And he even made a lovely handprint. And there's Ollie's handprint and there's Red's handprint. <laughs> Dragons make a very funny handprint, don't they? Oh, look, they became friends forever. And now Red is allowed to go to school with Ollie. What a lovely little story. And look, <laughs> they have gone out together for the day. There's Ollie and Eva and Red the dragon. What a lovely story. <laughs> Love you lots. Mwah. 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 <laughs>